I know you'll never hear this, but I have to get this off my chest. I'm standing here at your grave and it's a cold, windy, rainy and cloudy day. So, basically a summer day in Scotland. <sighs> you would have laughed at that. Your sense of humor was just as messed up as mine. <sighs> I'm standing here to tell you that I'm furious. I'm mad at you. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. I loved you so much, and I still do. I don't see myself ever moving on. This was not how it was supposed to play out. You promised me your love and affection. And I promised you mine. For the rest of our lives. Our lives. And now, there's just me. You, you left. On your own terms. Fuck me, right? <sighs> I wish I had known. I wish I was there. And most of all, I wish you would have taken me with you. Seriously. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> it's been weeks and I'm still in a daze. I don't know if I'm awake or asleep. Days bleed into nights, nights bleed into days. And the times I act like you never existed. As if it was all just a hallucination. You came in like a whirlwind, knocked me off my feet, took me up, up and away, only to now smash me through the ground from a mile up. It feels surreal being alive and knowing. I'll never see you again. Never hear your voice again. Never hold you in my arms again. How dare you leave me like this? It wasn't supposed to be like that. We wanted to travel the world. Granted that one happening quite some time with everything going on at the moment, but but we wanted to go on adventures, see Europe, and see the fairies in Iceland, watch the midnight sun go sailing across the Mediterranean Sea, go skiing in the Alps, and skinny dipping in Finnish ice water after the sauna. We wanted to do so much. It all lay before us. And then you had to fall ill. I know, I know your body betrayed you. And I know how hard it was on you, but I felt so powerless, so useless, not being able to fight it off, to save you. I'll never forgive myself for that. You were my other half. Ever since I found you, I knew you completed me. I even loved my cringy dad jokes. <laughs> sure, we had rough times, but who doesn't? But 
at the end of the day, you were my anchor. You grounded me and kept me going. Throughout everything, the two of us always managed it all. Whatever life threw our way. I'm so torn between loving you, hating you, being absolutely mad at you, and being mad at the world. But most of all, I'm desperate. It's fucking exhausting. There is no right or wrong way to feel no right or wrong thing to do or to say or think. It's all out in the open and uncertain. And you know how much I hate uncertainty. And even though we both knew you would leave soon, I was never ready. You tried to prepare me, I know you did. But I would never be ready to let you go. <sighs> I... I miss your laughter. The way you looked at me when I came in the door after work. Like a child on Christmas. It warmed my heart every single day. I was always in awe at it. What you ever saw in me? I, I tried my best to let you know how much I love you and how much I care. But I feel like I failed. There is not enough time in the universe to tell you how perfect you are for me. So how could I manage in just a few years? I miss you running around the house searching for your keys in the morning, even though you always put them right beside that little ball on the counter in the kitchen, but somehow you were always sure you would find them in your pocket or backpack. <laughs> oh. And those long sighs that ended in chuckling when you sat down on the sofa and felt like you just ran a marathon. Just because it's so comfy. <laughs> you really love that thing. <laughs> the way the whole house smelled perfumey and vanillary after you took a shower and walked around all wrapped up in a towel. And then you'd always come find me and take my face into both your wet hands and... Give me a kiss while pressing your wet face into mine. <laughs> I always loved and hated that so much. Oh, how much you enjoyed my discomfort in that moment was unreal. But at the same time, kissing you was worth any discomfort in life. Remember how I had to move abroad for half a year for work? It was torturous. In the beginning we tried a... a few different methods, didn't we? We tried to compensate by Skyping every free minute of the day. We kept it up for weeks. But after a while, it was too strenuous. We had to do the dishes, the washing, the hoovering, just everything. Both of us. We had family and friends wanting to stay in touch. And we didn't want to put our lives on hold for months. So at some point we both feared we might not make it as a couple. <laughs> Before you had the brilliant idea of long distance maxi time. <laughs> oh, what a wild ride that was. But it helped us. We made it through. We made it. 
وي واحد ريدي دو اونلي ذس تايم اتس جاست مي اتس نو مور اس هير اند وي كانت ميك ات ثرو اني مور اي نو يو سيد ات تايم اند تايم اجين I'm strong enough, and it will all be all right. But right now, it feels like you lied to me. I miss your touch. The way you'd stroke my arm and shoulder. The way you'd hold my hand and interlock our fingers. And I love how you'd rest your head on my shoulder and look up at me with that smile that would convince anyone that the world will be just fine if we just make it through another day. <laughs> your soft skin underneath my fingertips, the smell of your hair when it hit my face whenever we hugged. You were my home, my reason. I know I should be thankful, because I had you. So many people walk through life never experiencing the deep connection and love and affection that we had. I know that. And yet... <sighs> While looking at your grave, It feels like you're standing next to me. I can almost feel your hand in mine. I don't even want to look to the side in case you might vanish before I catch a glimpse of you. I know you're not here and you can't hear me. But I needed to say all of this out loud. I wanted to shout it into the universe, hoping that in some other realm you might still exist and be able to hear and respond. Fuck <sighs> me, my imagination's running wild. I'd be ready to throw money at charlatans to just keep the hope alive of ever talking to you again. <sighs> Don't worry, you know me. I'm just talking out of despair. I'm not going to do anything stupid. <laughs> It's oh so tempting. But I know it would only add to the hurt. I'm starting to shiver. It's really bloody cold. I don't want to leave, but it's getting late. I would give my right arm just to kiss you one last time. If I kissed my fingers and touched the stone, would that look stupid? Who am I kidding? This whole monologue looks stupid. I don't care. Let me come over. There you go. Goodbye, my love. I'll be here again.